Now in the first part of this question then, we're given this drawing and we've got a force P Newtons acting on this particle, a small package, and we've got to draw the forces then that keep it in equilibrium. Well first of all, you can leave this force of P Newtons acting on here, but I never like forces coming into an object. I always find it's more useful to draw them coming away from the object. So what I'm going to do is instead of having this P Newtons coming in, I'm going to draw it coming on out. Okay, so we've got P Newtons there. Obviously it doesn't matter if you decide to leave it here, okay, but as I say I prefer to have it coming away from the object. So we'll just remove that. Now any object is going to have a weight and the weight acts downwards so in this case we've got the weight acting downwards and because the mass is 1.1 kilograms then the weight would be 1.1 g newtons. The particle is in contact with the surface here so there's going to be a contact force, a reaction if you like, that is perpendicular to the surface so I'm going to call that r newtons. Now the object would want to slide down the plane but because it's a rough plane and there's obviously friction we're told that the particle is on the point of slipping down the plane so therefore friction is going to oppose motion is going to act up the plane so we'll put that up in that direction and you could use F if you like for the frictional force I'm not going to use that I'm going to say that because this is slipping, or just on the point of slipping, friction has reached its maximum, it's limiting, and I'm going to change that to mu r newtons. Okay, so they are all the forces acting on the small package that keeps it in equilibrium. And that should be sufficient to get the marks for this question. Okay, well that brings us now to the end of the first part then.